Destiny 2 is like an abusive girlfriend. This is something I've told people who ask me whether or not they should get into Destiny. I always say, no, it's an abusive relationship. Now, if you're a Destiny player, you'll already see where I'm coming from, but I feel I should explain it anyway. I've been playing Destiny 2 since week 2 of Destiny 1, and I've been playing ever since then. <clears throat> this game has given me some of my favourite moments in gaming history. To this day, I don't think there's anything more fun than going on a raid for the first time with a fire team of friends. But some of Destiny's lows were really low, and I just kept playing through them. Because you just suck it up, because the best parts make it worth pushing through. Lately though, it seems to me that the lows are getting lower and the highs are even harder to find. With underwhelming DLC, into boring seasons, into massive layoffs, all with a side of bad PvP metas. Everything just seems to be going wrong, and I'm left looking back on this thing I thought I loved, and how I'm feeling abandoned, left behind by it. Talking about the Crucible, the only metas that I look back fondly on are the uh, Clever Dragon Blind Pedestrian meta from uh, Rise of Iron, and that may be because I'm biased and I like pulse rifles, and those are the two coolest pulse rifle designs that have ever existed. And then the uh, Uriel's Gift Mitre Multi-Tool meta from Destiny 2 Vanilla. Looking back at the metas I didn't like though, I have the original D1 Blink with a shotgun, the 2 Tap Thorn, then Destiny 2 Dust Rock Blues and Lunas Howl, Mountain Top Clues, and One-Eyed Mask. Those couple of times Lord of Wolves dominated. The first introduction of Stasis and then Strategy and then Shatter Dive for almost a year after that. The Lorenz Driver meta, the Immortal meta, and now the current Bow meta. It's hard not to remember all the bad times, because there were so many, and the further along we get in the timeline, it just feels like more and more are starting to pop up more often. This might just be recency bias, but I've just had enough. I'm not even going to get into Strikes, because I haven't touched the Strike playlist in, I don't, I don't know how long. Probably not since they changed the name of it to the Vanguard Ops playlist. All of these recent seasons have been largely forgettable to me. I remember the pirate one because I love pirates and I was super excited to be a space pirate. Only to be disappointed. Um, season of the Seraph because the Eyeclos SMG was really good. And I can't really remember much else from any of the others. And I, I think that's no good, because I still look back at uh, mid-DLC releases like the April update as one of the best things to happen to the game. Even the 30th anniversary pack was just so good. I don't even remember what season it was in, but the 30th anniversary pack was really great. But now, I just pay money and mindlessly log on each week to play the seasonal content in case one of the weapons is good, because I don't want to be left behind. I just want to lightly touch on the layoffs, because everyone has seen it, and everyone's heard everyone's opinions already, and I don't have much to add. Uh, it's bad, obviously. What more can I say? I can't believe the person who composed Ad Victorium, Michael Salvatore, was fired just like nothing. A song I would argue is better than Deep Stone Lullaby. Not that that matters because the person who wrote that, Michael Seacrest, was also fired. But now, just recently, we've had news of the Crucible Strike Team. You finally know about the 15th Wish, and things are starting to look up again. This always happens though. Things are bad, good things come along and bandage the situation before we plummet back down to the depths again. And I'm getting to the point where I'm not sure I want to be on this roller coaster anymore. But I'm a victim to the sunk cost fallacy. I've invested 9 years of my life into this game, and it's too late to quit now. I don't have any solutions for how to fix the game, or anything like that. I'm not a game dev, I'm not even a Destiny YouTuber. I'm just a guy who plays the game. And even if I was in a position where I could propose changes and people would listen, 
I just don't care to. I have a way out of this abusive relationship now. A solution for myself, not for the game. I'm gonna hang around until the last shape, then I'm done. I'm out. And I'm probably not coming back unless things change drastically. But they won't. It's sad just to walk out of something I've spent close to 10 years with, had some of the best memories with. But you gotta move on at some point. And I think this might hold true for a lot of people in this community. Anyway, thanks for listening to my mad rambles.